dear child, let's start by getting the most important thing out of the way. You will survive. Yes, you will survive. Now, child, take a deep breath. Expand your small lungs as much as you can. Breathe in the salty air of the island, the humidity of your hometown. Expand your lungs with the perfume of moss, the sound of hope. Feel them like colorful balloons rising to the sky on a warm summer day. Let your heart, your heart race wild and feverish to the rhythm of hooves of horses galloping across the Champ de Mars for the last race of the day on a hot Saturday afternoon. Breathe in, child. Breathe in and expand this breath to the deepest corners of your lungs, the spaces in your body where there are stories hidden that you are yet to discover, like all the unsent letters that you wrote wrapped in tender fabric tied with coconut rope and hidden under all the neated, neatly folded clothes in your closet. Breathe in, child, as deep as you can. Breathe in. And now, Breathe out, breathe out, breathe out your biggest sigh of relief because I am here to tell you that you will survive. Yes, you will survive. You will survive to see the years go by. You will witness your skin spread and grow, stretch out vertically like a sculpture, a monument demanding to exist, to be recognized, to occupy space. Your bones will mold themselves in the shape of adulthood, collecting strength under the moonlight, learning not to rot, not to crumble through the constant trickle of bitter rain in your veins. And your hair, your hair will grow in length, in strength, in thickness, in pride, curls like dark snakes in a bad dream will bounce like a proud prophecy, whispering royal visions of the past and the future to the winds. And your heart, your heart will learn to beat. A steady, relentless rhythm, like the pulse of your ancestors, voices refusing to be silent, songs refusing to disappear, screams demanding that their oscillation be recognized in the ripples of the oceans. Your heart will learn not to split, not to crack, not to break under the fury of resentful waves when they come crashing down the fragile shores of your loneliness. You will survive, child. You will survive. You will survive and you will learn to discern time in the hues of purple and orange in the night sky, in the daily passage of the sun from east to west. You will see wrinkles gradually collect in layers of dust, exhaustion and bitterness under your parents' eyes. Their bodies fragment as they wet their beds and weep like infants in the middle of the night. And you will feel pain deep pain that will haunt your body, numb your mind, lock all your secrets in a box like candy that you stole at the birthday party of your rich neighbor and that you hid for weeks in your drawer. You will witness disasters, disasters and wars live on your television screen. You will witness fireworks in the shape of flowers at the turn of the millennia, two towers crumbling down in New York, changing the course of history. And you will witness technology that seems too far-fetched and unimaginable for your young mind. Basically, that's how it will work. <laughs> you'll be taking pictures of yourself all the time from your phone. <laughs> yes, you'll be taking pictures from your phone. They call selfies. <laughs> and you'll be editing them on your phone itself and busting it to your friends across the world through a public platform called Instagram. <laughs> so child, get ready. Practice in the mirror and give face. <laughs> Give face, because it will pay off someday. <laughs> <laughs> and child, you will also run away. You will run away as far as you can, as fast as you can, catching planes and trains, hiding the safety of metal boxes, deliberately placing masses of land, bodies of water, continents and oceans like pieces of a puzzle, stretching the distance between you and your abusers, you and your home, you and your family, you and your island, you and your pain and your self's hatred. 
You will laugh out loud when respectable white gay men will tell you that it gets better. And you will call them out for being liars because you will know by then that life is just so damn complicated. Because no matter how far you run, no matter how fast you run, no matter the borders, the fences, the walls, the expanses of land and water that you put between you and your abusers, you and your home, you and your family, you and your island, you just can't leave the pain and the self-hatred behind. You will carry the festering weight halfway across the globe in a heavy, invisible suitcase that you just can't leave behind. A child, you will also learn to be an adult. You will learn to fend for yourself. Although I believe, child, you already know how to do this and you're pretty good at it. You will learn the dirty secrets and codes of adulthood. The sound of broken glass when you'll invite him to your bed. The smell of white grass growing in the spaces between your toes. The taste of blood in your mouth in the middle of the night. The aftertaste of spicy rum at the back of your throat when the people you love the most will walk out on you. The worst thing that could happen to you will happen to you. The best thing that could happen to you will also happen to you. And this is how you will learn to survive. This is how you will learn to live, to thrive, to carve a space for yourself in the world. And you will learn to discern truths from lies. Although I believe, child, you already know how to do this. You will learn to protect your heart. You will learn to protect your heart, to listen to the rumbling in your guts when your body speaks. You will learn that your body has a language and that your body knows and your body speaks. And you will learn to laugh often. Because laughing feels good. But also, when everything else fails, laughing is all you can do. And child, you will grow to believe in magic. Yeah. yeah! That same magic that you refuse to believe in right now because you think you're just so damn smart. <laughs> you will grow to believe in magic. It will be a long journey, but you learn to trust and love journeys written in the heart lines on your hands. You will find love that bursts with freshness like giant water fountains. You will find friends who will teach you the nuances of the word healing. And when you'll be in your fifth year of university, because yes, you will go to university, I know! This seems impossible right now, if it's like the wildest, most far-fetched dream, but you will actually power through all the 16 years of school, you'll hate all of them, but you'll power through them and you will go to university. And in your fifth year of university, you will read poetry about people of color being haunted by their ancestors, and for the first time of your life, everything will make sense. You will understand, child. You will understand why you never died, no matter how many times you tried to squeeze the life out of your body, no matter all the nights you went to bed wishing for silence in your head. For you could not die, child. You were meant to survive. You were meant to survive like a gift, like a celebration, like a promise, like a pack, like a roaring fire and sunset, like molten lava exploding in the belly of a volcano, like the sounds of Maravan, Maravan, Triang, Crackmont du bois qui peut briller, la fumée qui montait vers nos bandes ancêtres. Côte-moi Route, nous bandes d'espoir, par le grand monde qui continue à vivre dans nous les cœurs, par le grand dîner qui grand monde qui continue à vivre dans nous la veine. There are languages you do not yet speak, words you do not yet know, music you have never heard, emotions you have never felt. Magic you didn't even know existed. But child, you will learn. You will learn that they have always been in you, within you, all this time. And this is the magic that kept you alive. Which is why I am here to tell you, child, you will survive. Child, you will not learn to love yourself. But I am learning to love you.